Alright, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to get your um, survey data into from Google Forms into Excel and ultimately into SPSS. So once you have your, your data collected, you'll click on in your Google Drive the name of the, the form that you've created. So this one's just called Personality Survey. You'll click on Responses and then after you click Responses, it'll tell you roughly how many people responded to your survey. That doesn't mean that they all had complete data, but that, that's the number of people who at least accessed it. And then you'll click on this icon right here, which will open a spreadsheet, a Google spreadsheet. So once you have the Google spreadsheet, uh, we'll want to work with an Excel spreadsheet so that way we can import it into SPSS, because SPSS will not import a Google spreadsheet directly. So once you have your Google spreadsheet, you go to File, Download As, and just save it as a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to click on that, and a Excel file will save. And now we have let me drag that over here. We have our, our Excel file. So the next step is we need to get this ready to be imported into SPSS. SPSS will not like question marks and variable names. So you'll want to get rid of all of the question marks and all of your variable names. Be very careful to do that. You probably also want to come up with more concise variable names. So you don't want to have very long variable names in SPSS. I'm going to change that to gender, that to age, this to race, ethnicity, and I'm, I'm being very careful to get rid of any question marks. So I'm making sure that the variable names are concise and don't have question marks, right? So concise, but, but I have to leave enough information so I'll know which item is which. So I'll just shorten the variable names and get rid of any question marks. I'll do that for every item. Just simply going through and making them more concise but leaving enough information so that when I need to work with this later I'll know which item belongs to which. Probably just best to get rid of any punctuation in these variable names so any question marks, slashes, anything like that we want to get rid of. So just keep it concise but again make sure you're able to reliably differentiate which item is which. So there's quite a few items you'll have to go through item by item. Uh, this is quite a long scale, so I'm just going to stop. But you would, you would continue doing that to try to shorten your variable names and make sure that there are uh, no unnecessary punctuation marks or anything in your variable names. Another thing you may need to do at this point, which I don't need to do in this data set, is if these liquor type responses contain words. So let's say if this said... 3 equals neutral and so on, right? We don't want to import it with words, so I would have to use um, find and replace, and I would, I would find all of the 3 equals neutral and just change those simply to 3's. Find it, did I spell it wrong? Three equals. 
they got an extra space in there. That's why. All right, so replace all. Okay, so you would do that with with all of the liquor type responses that have words. You'd want to simply very carefully use find and replace to replace those words with the respective numbers that they're supposed to represent. Uh, for male, female, we can leave that alone as nominal. And for race, ethnicity, we can leave that alone as nominal. Age, it looks like these are all numbers, no, no knuckleheads typed in words there. So we're good to go with that. So now we want to save this somewhere we can access. I'm going to save it just for now to my um, to my downloads folder and just save it as an Excel workbook personality survey responses one click save oh, it already exists well let's replace it uh, okay so now I want to open SPSS so I'm going to open SPSS which stands for statistical package for the social sciences this is the program that we're going to use to analyze your data and also uh, before that, actually, to compute your scales. So go ahead and open SPSS, which takes a moment. All right, so I've got SPSS open, uh, which is right now a blank data file. Oh, one key thing I forgot to mention is we want to make sure it's very important to close the Excel file, otherwise it won't import into SPSS correctly. So I'm going to close the Excel file. I'm going to go to File, Open Database, New Query. File, Open Database, New Query. I'm going to click on Excel Files. Double click on Excel Files and I'm going to find that Excel file, which I saved it in, I believe it was downloads. Yes, yeah, so here is the file itself. I'm going to double click that. Um, I'm going to click here where it says system tables because sometimes it gives an error if I don't. I don't do that actually. I'm not going to do that quite yet. Let me click that first. System tables, then go to Excel files, and I'll go back to my downloads, and I will select the file personality survey, and pray to the gods of data and research. Click OK. And here we see form responses one dollar sign. We click this right arrow button right here, and we see okay. Thankfully, it looks like we have all of our variables are ready to be imported into SPSS. So then I'm just going to click finish, and magically I now have an SPSS data file with all the variables. You want to double check that they all came through okay. It sometimes does some funky things with the variable names, like replaces spaces with underscores or um, the at uh, symbol. But in any case, it does look like we did import all of the variables. So now you would be ready to check the reliability. Well, first to reverse code any items that need to be reverse coded, then to check the reliability of the scales that are in your survey, and finally to compute the scales in your survey and also to check the correlation between your measure and the existing measure you're checking the convergent validity of your scale against. So uh, hopefully that was a rather brief and, and useful tutorial for how to import your data into SPSS from your Google spreadsheet. If you get an error, most likely it's because you forgot to close the Excel file before you imported it into SPSS or it could also be that you didn't check the little system tables box in the data import wizard. Those are the two most frequent errors. If you import your data and you notice that it's missing a variable, most likely the reason for that is you had a question mark at the end of that variable and SPSS for whatever reason absolutely detests question marks. So make sure you get rid of question marks um, in your variable names before you import it into SPSS. Alright, thank you.